Hey everyone, Tyler here, here to showcase the challenges feature. All right, so here's how it works. You've got your standard tasks, okay? And you've got your standard tags. Oh, check this out. Uh, Mateo added this little loader bar. Um, you'll see it in a bit. You've got your standard tags. Now, you click over here, and you'll notice a couple things. One is the tabs have been restructured. Now they're nested a lot more. Um, so you've got stats and achievement, profile, and avatar all under the profile section. Even though there's a lot of white space here, it's going to go away once we add. We have a lot more hair colors on the way and some accessories, such as um, the flowers can be removed from the head and put down here and stuff like that. The good thing, so what this the what the sub-tab navigation component is called uh, Angular UI Router. Angular UI Router. <clears throat> and what it allows us to do is navigate to something. You see the load, loader bar up there. Um, basically, it, it loads incrementally every step of the process. It's called lazy loading. So when I went to the social tab, it automatically loaded the tavern tab as well, just as a default, but it only loaded the tavern uh, data. It didn't load the party data or the guilds or the challenges, which is really, it's gonna improve performance drastically. It's also bookmarkable, so you can copy this, you know, and, and bookmark it, and it'll take you directly to the tavern. Um, uh, if, if a lot of people like the tavern specifically to check in for chat and all that stuff. Um, so, you go to so the new the new feature is under social uh, and challenges. And the way it works is um, they are shared task lists that you they're basically a competition between multiple participants. So you can see uh, because it's my local host, there's only one participant who's me, and I've given it a ten gem prize. At the end of a challenge, you can award people who are doing the best at your challenge um, a prize. And so let's let's show let's show you what it looks like. So I'm going to create um, a public one in the tavern. Um, the tavern is the public guild, essentially. I'm going to call it uh, uh, Stop Smoking. And there's this little thing called tag name. Um, you'll see in a bit, when you, when you subscribe to a challenge, it creates a tag on your list and shows up in tooltips and stuff. And so, you, so for really long, let's say like, let's call this one like lose 10 pounds in five weeks, right? You don't want that to be a tag. It's going to take up a lot of pace. So let's, let's call this like minus, minus 10 pounds. All right. Um, for public challenges, they have to have a minimum of one gem to prevent spam. Um, all private groups, you can get, you can have zero. Um, you don't have an optional gem prize, but the way the gem prize works is at the end, you close a challenge and you designate a winner. If that's a thing, some challenges can go forever. Um, some challenges have a, uh, a do, you know a cutoff date, and then there's a, some challenges don't have a winner. Some do. For those that do have a winner, you may optionally provide a gem prize for a little bit more incentive, description, whatever. Um, okay, so like you know we're trying to lose weight, so drink water, you know, as a habit. Um, take the stairs. A daily would be the gym. Five veggies. Uh, to do you know um, sign up for a marathon. Whatever. We save this, and as soon as I save it, it's automatically, I'm subscribed to it as the challenge leader. Um, otherwise, you'd click join. We'll do that for this other one, this Get Fit Challenge. Now when we go to my character, you can see that um, there are a couple new tasks on my list, down there and down here. Okay, and you can tell that they're part of a challenge in that they have this challenge bullhorn icon. And the tag shows you which challenge it's part of. And then up here in the tags, um, you can filter by what's in your challenges. Remember, the, remember I said that we have a tag name on the edit field of your uh, of the challenge creation. And what happens is the following. This is really cool. This is probably the, the biggest piece of challenges. Let's say I ate a lot of fruit today, okay? Now I go over to social and challenges. <clears throat> and I think this is part of the get fit challenge. Um, you can see here, this there's a little pop over here that tells, gives you a description. The color coding of these are, this is the aggregate um, for how well the entire group is doing at each at all the tasks. So this is the average of how well the, the group is doing. Because I'm the only participant, it's now only showing my uh, uh, my stats. You can see down here. Oh, no, actually, there's another participant, Andrew Casey. And it's actually ac accurate because you can see here it's a lighter blue than this. Mine is really, really bright blue. His is yellow. 
And so this is the aggregate. And it, um, if you click on it, um, it'll show you the progress of how everyone's doing. So this is good. <laughs> I realize why it's I kept loading because I kept doing this and dropping and it's trying to sort it. Um, <clears throat> okay, so a, lot of, a few other mechanics. There's a little filtering mechanism over here. Um, these are all tavern challenges. So if I uncheck the tavern, then they could disappear and like things I'm participating in versus not participating in either or. Um, what happens if you leave a challenge? You can say uh, remove tasks, keep tasks or cancel. It'll remove it from your, you know, remove them all from your, from your your own section, um, or you can keep them. And it'll clone them over to your user. Remove the challenge linking, and then they're independently uh, tracked as part of your your own regimen. Um, if you edit a challenge, and uh, we, we'll want to do some testing on this to make sure I um, had a little bit of kinks, but if you edit a challenge. Uh, you know, you can add new tasks and they'll be synced, you know, um, take the stairs, drink some water, don't smoke, you know, a day without smoking, something like that. Then you click save, it'll get synced over to all of the participants. Um, same with deleting and editing, etc. And then finally, of course, there's this close button and you can either delete a challenge and then it'll give the participants the opportunity to clone their own, you know, clone the tasks to their own regimens if they like them, otherwise they can delete them. Um, I'll show you what that looks like in a bit. Or you can select a winner. And it looks like that's having a little bit of trouble. I'll, I'll make sure that that gets fixed before uh, <clears throat> before too long. Um, which one did I create? I created this one. Edit, close. There we go. So I selected myself as the winner. I hit enter. It deletes the challenge. And here's what it looks like. Over on my task list, these red bullhorns mean that the, ta the challenge is broken. It's either been deleted, it's been completed, a particular task has been deleted from the challenge template, stuff like that. When you click on it, it shows you what the deal is, why it's been broken, and then allows you to either keep them or remove them. In this case, it says this challenge is completed and the winner is Tyler. Do you want to keep these challenges or not? These tasks as part of the challenge will remove them. And it should, there we go, they're gone. And you'll see here, under my stats and achievements, I have was the winner in the following challenges, lost 10 pounds in five weeks. So, and I gained gems, went up from 376 to 386. Of course, I was the one that created the challenge with 10 gems, and so I got my gems back. All right, so that's the challenges feature, everyone. Um, I'm really excited about, about that. We did a lot of database and server overhaul, um, which is going to improve performance in the future. Uh, and I'm really excited also about this whole um, Angular UI router thing, this uh, options group tavern. All right, thanks for watching.